right, it's the last round of our daily event. We've lost a dice roll on the draw. This hand's slow, but I don't think I can mulligan it. It has uh, four mana, I can cast Jace. Um, just hope I don't kill, get killed by that. A uh, Sylvan character would be, be an ideal draw. Any kind of interaction spell that costs less than four would be perfect. Sacred Foundry. Okay, I'll play our Breeding Pool tapped. So it might be like Red White Devotion. It could be Blue White Red Control. Let's see. Mute Vault. Uh, just a uh, Boros Aggro that has a slow draw. I, I don't know. Maybe it's Blue White Red. I don't know if they're green enough to play Mute Vault. Well, we're going to find out very shortly. So we just drew another land, so looks like not too much early action going on. Attacking with this Muta Vault. Okay. Another Temple tapped. So I don't know what's going on. And another Jace. Okay. Let's put another tap line and just say go. So I don't quite know what my opponent is doing yet. White, so it's like a looks like a Boros deck. Okay, young pyromancer. All right, now I know. Okay, maybe he's red white. There's a red white burn deck floating around uh, that did good at a recent Grand Prix. No attack. Okay. Guess we'll just play Jace here and plus it. We've got so many of them. Looks like he has a burn spell. Cause he left open and he didn't attack so he can make a token. So it might be right just to minus it. And try to dig for some action. I think that's better. And <laughs> we drew three lands. Okay, I'm glad I got those out of the way. So he's probably gonna like Searing Spear. Not Searing Spear, uh... This cast are assembled, but... I guess we take that. So you can Seer Spear or Ma uh, I mean Lightning Strike or Magma Jet the Jace. Good token, attack for five, puts that thirteen. Yep. So we're gonna take Oh no, he just did to us. No, he did to Jace. No, oh, us. Okay. So maybe we'll just attack the Jace. That way you can deal one more extra damage to us. So I'm like might just play this Jason plus it. Try to stem the bleeding. Hopefully get Supreme Verdict pretty soon. So I'm a Muta Vault. So this matchup will definitely bring an Archangel of Th Archangel of Thune. I think they do have changed the rocks, but Yep, so we go to twelve. Drew a land, so we're just gonna have to plus this Jace. Let's try to stem the bleeding a little bit. And play our temple and see what's on top. Revelation would be okay. Like they may I think they main deck Skullcrack, so like you gotta watch out for that. I'm gonna put that at the bottom and say go. Might have another burn spell. It's another token, but luckily the token doesn't do quite anything. He's thinking about it. He definitely has something. He could have like a Boros Charm. Which I'm fine. Like, if Jace gains me like that much life, I'm really happy about it because he still has five cards in hand. So he's got some kind of burn spell. Lightning Strike. Going at me. I'm a nine. Okay. Can he kill me? Deals, deals two damage to me with the Muta Vaults. Bor double Boros Charm kills me. Boros Charm, any three damage burn spell kills me. See what he has. Still thinking. Definitely has something. He has some kind of burn spell in his hand. Pretty sure 
if he could kill me, he would just do it. So it looks like he can't quite kill me yet. So he's deciding whether or not to deal with this Jace. Does he have a War Leader's Helix? Chandra's Phoenix, okay. That's good. That means I'm taking way less damage than I thought I would. So we're taking three, going to six. Still not the best shape. So I can minus it and hit, try to hit Supreme Verdict. But if we don't hit Supreme Verdict, we just lose. So I don't think I can do that. I think I just got an Urban Evolution. Plus again, I hope to draw something next turn. I hope he doesn't have a three, three damage burn spell. Which is highly unlikely. We're probably just dead. We did hit the Fog. Okay. That's not bad. We could have minus it there and try to find something that's probably been the right answer. Because, like, we don't have to worry about plussing. I should have, definitely should have plussed it. I mean, definitely should have minus it. Definitely shouldn't have plussed it. Discard Temple Garden. So we're going to fog this turn. So I don't want to go with three. It seems really bad. It doesn't look like he has two burn spells yet. He would have just killed us. Oh, Skullcrack stops this. Ugh. We can't really play around Skullcrack, though. So. Let's see if he has it. Alright. Dun dun dun. Hopefully, just as like chain to the rocks or like Mizzy mortars. Okay. Definitely should have done this last turn. Ooh, fog. Okay. Okay. I can deal with this. I can. I can. I can hang with this. Let's get this in here. Um. See, do I play assemble? I think I need to get some life, so I think I need to dig. Like assemble won't do enough for me. So let's uh, draw some cards. Actually, let's play this first and try to move some junk off the top of our deck if possible. I don't think that's good enough. We're just gonna bomb that. I might be wrong, but like we need to go bigger than just a detention sphere. Elspeth is a good start. Okay, so we'll play this temple. Don't need that Jace. So hopefully, like, does that burn spells? Like, we're, we could still be dead. He can just go in and turn, burn us, untap, burn us. Like, the only deck I've seen close to this has, like, a lot of burn spells. So he didn't burn us in a turn, just discard a shock land. So we can untap plus Jace, Elspeth, uh, only take one for the Chandra's Phoenix. Oh, maybe I did need the Tension Sphere to take care of that Phoenix. But we can dig again if necessary. Like at the turn after we play Elspeth. Definitely need to gain some kind of life soon before he draws a skull crack, because I'm pretty sure he has them. So yeah, Fog doing some work. Okay, maybe not. Alright. So, we play Jace, play Elspeth. And we actually can take care of this Phoenix. I haven't played a land yet, I don't think. So we don't take any, and we just need a dig for a revelation. So next turn, I think having six tokens makes me pretty safe. So I might minus Jace next turn. 
That seems like the plan. Let's say go. <laughs> Cross our fingers. So yeah, we've been able to stay alive longer than I thought. I thought we were gonna be dead way earlier, so feeling pretty pretty feeling a lot better. I guess you could have chains to the rock. Give her one of these tokens. Okay, he has lightning strike. We're at three. Let's see if he tries to kill something. Nope, we're at three. Okay. So we need a, we need a revelation. Overlord mortars will put us to one. Nope, just Storm Breath Dragon. Okay. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, so it's like a Boros Burn deck. And Chains uh, Chains the Rock doesn't matter. Okay. So which so I must have top decked this and do So I didn't quite get there. We're very close. So we definitely need a revelation or something. How close were we? Nope, not close. Okay. Let's go to our sideboard. Um, so we want Ratchet Bomb. We want Archangel of Thune. We don't want Dissolve. I don't think we want Aetheline. You cut something else. The Assemble Legion. They probably they might bring in Glare of Heresy, so that's bad for us. All right, we can bring in Needles from the Muta Vaults. I don't know what else I'd cut. We'll try this out and see how it works. All right, we're gonna play first, and we're gonna mulligan this hand. Only has one land. I can't do anything. This hand's okay. Um, actually, it's fine. Uh, we got some temples to figure out what's going on. We got Keratid. I think I still want that. I think I just want to draw some lands. Carriage is like seems like it should buy me a bunch of time. Mutable turn one, okay. Let's play this guy. Spending when he plays next turn, I just play Ratchet Bomb. And a temple. So this, this game's already going a lot better than the last game. Our hand is really slow. Woo. Elspeth too, okay. So we just need another land. Um don't think I want that actually. Play that and say go. So if I have a turn five Elspeth, and I think I'm doing okay. So here comes Phoenix, I'm just gonna take care of that with a uh, detention sphere. So put a counter on a ratchet bomb. I guess we'll play an untap land because we might draw one next turn, but we do have Elspeth next turn, which is good. Very good. And he also doesn't have a light source yet. I might have a glare to get rid of this. There's nothing we can do about that. But it doesn't have a white source yet, so that's good. <laughs> Don't know what I want to do with this. Like I can pump it up to two to try to kill young Pyromancer. Or I can leave it at one. I might just leave it at one for this turn. Let's see what happens. So no white source yet. Okay. I don't, I don't really care about. I think I'm just leave it there because he might play doesn't have much else. All right, so we'll play our Temple Garden untapped. Play Elspeth. We have to watch out about Dragon. Like he can uh, burn the Elspeth and then attack it with Dragon, and then we don't have a way to kill it. All right, we'll see what happens. So we did an okay draw. Now we just need to draw like a uh, Revelation or Archangel. Archangel will be pretty sweet with Elspeth. Probably gonna, probably gonna, like, 
He doesn't have a white source yet, so that could be like a couple cards in his hand. Might be holding lightning strikes. Magma Jet, okay. Alright, Elspeth takes it, okay. So if he has Dragon, I can't deal with it, but it might just kill Elspeth. I think it's wrong not to play Hall Fountain. Now I have to tap this if I draw a Jace or a double blue spell. Alright, so he didn't kill it twice. What did he do with that? He put top, top. Okay. Okay, lightning strike. So no dragon. It's good. It's very good news. Flames of the Firebrand. Holy moly. Okay. Interesting. Okay, with that, I just like saved myself nine damage. Um, I could try to get this up to five, but I don't think it's going to happen. I think I'm just going to leave it at one. We'll see. Maybe he just didn't have like, enough cards to bring in. That's what he needed to do. Alright, we can get to four, though. Alright, let's try to get this up, up to four. <laughs> so he's just going to poke me for one. Or he's just going to pull the top card. Yep. <laughs> Fire Drinker Sator, okay. So I was going to make a Knight token and attack it. But that's not going to work anymore. Temple of Mystery, okay. I'm probably going to need that. He's got pretty lucky that he flipped something he could cast, because he already played a land, too. Well, did he play a land? I don't remember. Okay, another Fire Drinker Sager. Ah, <laughs> I moved it off, okay. Kind of awkward. Oh well. So she can draw like a revelation, which should be in good shape. Archangel of Thune would be nice. Another Elspeth. I think we had all our almost all our spells in our opening hand. We haven't really drawn any spells. Hmm. So I'm gonna take this up to three. Get rid of this. A couple turns. I'm gonna make a, a knight token try to block his satyr when he attacks. A bow would be nice and keep me alive a little bit longer. Interesting attack with the mutable. I wonder what he could have. I guess he could have like a burning earth. But that's just gonna die in a couple turns to the ratchet bomb. Right, so he takes two. No power master, okay. Um So I have Supreme Verdict on top. If I don't do it, I take at least four. If I do do it, I only take two, so I'm gonna cast it. So there's three cards in hand, probably some burn spells. I don't think he has any more creatures. And then I get to kill a Chandra next turn. And we're taking two from Mutaval, but we're still going to be at 14. Just going to draw something. <laughs> Glare of Heresy, okay. Whew. I'm glad he whiffed. So he did bring those in, so I'm glad I took the assemble out. So he probably has couple white cards in his hand. There's a temple, okay. I think I would have done that first. <laughs> As we know now, it's good to scry before you do stuff at the top of your deck. You put it on bottom. So we attack for two. Yep. And this is gone forever. Gotta make sure I put a charge counter on this. Wear and tear. Ugh. Hmm. 
that <laughs> is very unfortunate. So now we need to draw a revelation for sure. I wonder if he has another one. Get this attention sphere. Oh, yeah, keep this open. Cackler, okay. Plays that. I got a 12. Let me draw something good. <coughs> unfortunate. Like they probably bring in like one and you happen to have it for my one ratchet bomb. One revelation. Uh, that'll do too. Well it might, we'll see. Say so go. Now we can attack Chandra. I don't think I wanna block with it. Just because I don't want him like burn it. Any burn spell kills it. Going to eight is pretty risky. He still has three cards in hand. But like, I don't. I don't think I can win if I don't have that in play. So we did have glare of heresy. Is thinking. He decided to magma jet us. Let's see what he does at the top of his deck. Bottom. Bottom. Okay, so just some lands. Unfortunate for us. Rather him draw those. So he had at least one more burn spell because he probably would have. He drew a land. Probably shouldn't have played that. He probably should just. Okay, he can't block in it. Could be dead here. We'll find out very shortly. At six. Interesting. Did Skullcrack before he attacked? So we're at two. Kill me! Kill me already! Yeah. So that's pretty unfortunate. It's like a bad matchup, but we also drew very poorly that game. And game one, we had a very slow draw. So we finished two and two. Kind of disappointed. Uh, I think we should beat the mono black guy, our opponent. But we just got mana screw games two and three. And this is, does not seem like a good matchup. So I uh, just had very awkward draws against them. But I do like the deck. I think it's very good. It can be very powerful, like we saw in the first couple of matches. But it just didn't work out for us. And thanks for watching.